welcome back. Or, if you are new, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to film my... <laughs> was a weird way to start it. I'm going to film my very quick everyday winter makeup look. I don't know how it differs from my summer one, but it does somehow. I don't know how. I feel like there's more cream products in my winter one because obviously our face gets a lot more dry, even as oily gals. So I'm going to quickly run you through my everyday makeup look in the month of December. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. It would mean a lot if you would just click the button below, right in the corner, my little face. And then let's get straight into it, shall we? I am going to use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow just to add a bit of glow to my face. Not a lot, nothing too extreme, just a little something something. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade... Oh, this isn't the camo one. Oh, it is the camo one. Let me start again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Going to just pop a little bit in here like this. I'm going to cover up my blemishes with it as well because I have my fair few right now and I don't quite know why. And just kind of tap it <laughs> around the face, I guess. I'm going to blend it out with a brush. I look very pale. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Now I'm gonna go on with the 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Warm, just to go over the blemishes again, because this one dries down a bit more because it's not the hydrating one. And I do need it to dry down over the blemishes, do you know what I mean? Some under the eyes as well, might as well. I'm just gonna tap this into the skin to blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one here to dry down just a little bit more, just because it is extreme. I'm gonna go in with my Chanel, so Lady Tan Chanel. A little brush like this, swirl it around. I'm gonna pop this to the back of the face. So on the chin, go over the nose as well. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go into the thing. Why did I tap it? This isn't powder. I'm gonna go in the crease of the eye. Just cause this is a like everyday look, I don't really like to go into too many products. Just to, you know. Save time, just to calm it down a bit, I'm going over it with the brush I was using before. Get the hair off it first. I'm just gonna blend out this concealer a second. And now use the bronzer brush just to blend everything out. And then I'm gonna use our sponge just to blend over the entire area, just to make sure everything's blended. Now I'm gonna go with the Rare Beauty blush. This is the cream blush in the shade Happy. and. In the summer, I like to use quite a peachy shade. I use this one. But in the winter, I like to use like a pinky colour because, I don't know, you get quite like rosy cheeks in the winter, don't you? So I like to add to that. Take this brush and blend it out. I like to keep it mostly to the back of the face and then whatever's left on the brush, I'll bring forwards. Just because I feel like with my face, if I start here, it tends to make it look like I'm trying to do the sunburnt look thing. So I add it to the back of the face and then just bring it forwards. Makes it easier than whatever's left on the brush I'm gonna add to my nose. So we can look like Rudolph in this festive season. Now I'm just gonna quickly use my foundation brush just to check that I haven't got any creasing around the eyes. I'm gonna take my powder. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm gonna take my poofy pad thing. I'm gonna add this to the under eyes. I'm only gonna set the T-zone. I'm not gonna bother setting the outside of the face because like I said, we get quite dry in the winter, so I don't really want to add to it. I've got my driving test on Friday and I think it's fair to say I'm scared. I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and make sure there's no excess powder anywhere on the varcha. Is that the right word, varcha? We are going to do a little bit of contour. So I'm going to take my little brush into my contour colour and contour my nose, just how I normally do. So I like to lift the bottom to a little line on top, down the sides. Now I'm going to use my sleek highlighting palette. So this is the Solstice palette. Next I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into these two colours down here. As you can see, they're the most loved. Then I'll just add it here and a little bit above the brow. Take a brush like this and dip into those two colours again. 
I'm just gonna add this just here. I'm not gonna do the whole like eye thing that I normally do where I add highlight all through here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my um <laughs> my summer routine or my everyday makeup one. Whatever one you fancy. And now I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna go into just the little yellow one. I'm gonna add this to the inner corner. And also add a dot to the end of the nose and up here. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a spoolie and brush through my brows. And now, because my eyebrow pencils have bailed on me, they've completely run out. I was not expecting it, it did come as a bit of a shock. But now I'm gonna take my angle brush. I'm gonna go into an eyeshadow. This one down here is proven to be my shade, I think. Unless it does come off a bit harsh and I haven't noticed, but that was from the Jaclyn Hill palette, by the way. And now I'm going to fill on the brows. I like to do a line underneath first, but because it's eyeshadow now, I don't start right at the front first. I start here and then bring it forward slightly and then continue to fill in the rest of the brow. Use whatever's left on the brush just to flick through the front. This eyebrow, this eyebrow, <laughs> this eyebrow, this eyebrow always looks like it's got like a sparse bit here, but if I fill it in, it makes my eyebrows look too harsh. So I'm just gonna have to leave it, but don't judge. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eyebrow. There's a blemish underneath this eyebrow still. It's been here for weeks. So I'm hoping that if I just ignore it, it'll get the hint and go away. Take my spoolie again, just to brush through. Make sure everything's fine. Now I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and give the eyelashes a bit of a squeeze. And we're gonna put on some of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I've said this before and I will say it again. The difference mascara makes. Okay, we're just gonna let that dry for a second. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder blush, just because I feel like I've lost the blush already. So I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Life's Peach one. I know I said I like to use pink ones, but hear me out. So what I do when I feel like I've lost the blush throughout the day, take this and I add this one kind of just down here. So we're not going over like the pink that we put back here, it's just like down here. Cause what I'll do, I'll take this one out with me, just because I feel like it's a bit more trustworthy than taking cream one because if you put cream on your face and you try and blend it out and it doesn't go the way you want you're in a bit of a pickle so I feel like powder is a lot more and there's like less chance of a spillage isn't there like it could crack and go everywhere but at least it's not gonna stain anything really anyways that was a tangent I'm just gonna go over the end of the nose with whatever's left on the brush I'm gonna do some like a little wing on the outside of my eye I like to use an eyeliner in the winter sometimes I'll just go in with a powder but now that it's like, I don't know, there's something more festive about it, like a black wing and maybe like a red lip. Ooh. So could be wrong. You could think the complete opposite way. Like in the summer, you wear the black wing. In the winter, you wear the nice subtle wing. No. This is the Rimmel London Glamize mas Mascara <laughs> Eyeliner. Why is my dog running around the house? I like to do my eyeliner after I've done my mascara, just because I don't like, I don't want to go too extreme with the liner. So I feel like when I do it, my mascara first, it kind of shows where the lift is. And I like to follow like that. Little wing like that. It looks extreme, but it's not that extreme, I don't think. It's because I got hooded eyes that I need to like do it in like a certain way, so then it's like whatever. Whatever, you don't care. Just if you're gonna follow along, do your do your desired wing. Do your wing however you want. I'm gonna move on to the next eye. Oh, there's way too much. Is this ink? That's not ink. <laughs> not ink, but you know, you get what I mean. Product. Way too much product on the brush. Anywho. And now just to finish off, I like to use some lip balm. I don't like to put anything on my lips in this climate <laughs> because my lips get way too chapped. Like they get chapped easy. So I like to use this. This is the Lucas Papaw ointment. I'm gonna put this all on my lips. I love these because they're quite cheap. You can get two of these, like these massive things on Amazon for like a tenner, like two of them. And they last so long. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna give my face a quick spritz with the Sunset Beam Coconut Primer Water from Primark. And this is the finished makeup look. This is my everyday winter makeup look. It's very simple, <laughs> very easy to do. Keeps your face looking like it's got some sort of life to it. I don't really have much more to say. This is, this is what I do every day. I feel like it's a good go-to if you want to look like you've put in some effort, but 
you don't actually want to put in that much effort. <laughs> if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and so much more. And I shall see you in the next video.